Now it's time to design our blog. What we want to do is add a nice little look and feel to our blog. And of course, the number one and only place to do that is Canva. Canva.com is a place to where you can access all types of graphics. And when it comes to blogging, designing blogs, designing my Instagram posts, designing all of my social media posts, I just go to Canva because I know they are going to fulfill what I need done. So I highly recommend you use Canva. If you have another place to where you like to use, you can do that also. But basically all we're going to do is create a quick logo right inside of Canva. So let me go ahead and log into my Canva account. I'm not sure exactly what size I'll need to, to make this. Okay, I'm logged into Canva as you can see. If you don't have a Canva account and you want one, go ahead and just go to Canva.com and create a free account. Okay, let me go over here. Whenever, if you are using the theme that I'm giving you access to, you want to go to Appearance, then go to Customize. After you go to Customize, you will go over here to Logo and Header Settings because we want to take away this little ping one up here. I'm not sure. Let me see. Create Design, Custom, and let me just guess the size, 300 by 100. I'm not sure exactly how what size is supposed to be but we're just gonna give this a shot real quick and what I want to do is course is I want to come up with a look see if they got a camera with camera with um, with Canva you can search for different logos and different emblems you can search for just about anything to make your brand come to life that's exactly what I am building I am building a branded Photoshop CS6 blog so I want it to actually look like a Photoshop blog and not just look like some kind of random blog or I don't want a Photoshop blog looking like a, a shopping or a food blog so you gotta try to just brand it as much as you can so let me go over here and try to see if I can find some nice little photos. Let's see if I can find a picture of a camera. Here we go. Make sure it's free. That's premium. I like the ones with the transparent backgrounds, but ah, this will work. This will work because that's a white background. And I can just kind of put this wherever I want let me see I'll put this at the top right hand corner well let me see I believe I got a it's like a sort of a gray background so honestly I don't have to use that but just for the sake of this video I'll use it okay you just want to try to match up the theme the name of my blog is the Photoshop blog. That's what it's that's what it's named. Ungroup the the Photoshop, and I can put blog in this different font. I'll leave it just like that. Photoshop blog. Let me make this a little bigger. Just want to make it look good. That's all. Good as possible, at least. And if it's too big, it probably won't show all show up all the way. So we'll see, though. We'll see. Let me just download this. PNG. Wait for that to download. Okay, it's officially downloaded. So let me go ahead and upload that, see how it's going to look. Because if it's too big, then we'll have to shrink it. If it's too small, we'll have to blow it up a little bit. Okay, here we go. Okay, the Photoshop blog. As you can see, it's showing up. It's not a it's not a logo that I would roll with if you know if I'm really launching this. Of course, this whole entire blog setup right here is just for the sake of this video, so and for this training overall. So I would definitely take my time more on the logo because as you can see, there's there's a, um, a background on this logo right here on this um, image on the um, picture of the camera. 
So I definitely wouldn't do that if I was taking my time. I would do a transparent image just to make it look more professional. But just for this training, I'm going to just go ahead and publish that right there because, you know, I just want you to get the idea of it, but you'll definitely take your time much more. And I can, if I want to, you know, you can go in here and, and change, you know, different things if you want to. You can change, you know, colors or however you want to do things. You can just change the colors overall if you want to. But, you know, keeping things nice and clean if I'm a Photoshop blog, you know, that's really what I want to aim for. If I'm a, a healthy eating blog, it might be a, a light green or something like that mixed with white. But this looks like the Photoshop blog to me. So I would just simply keep it like this, but it's completely up to you on how you want to design your blog. But when it comes to designing your blog, you want to keep it simple because I see a lot of people, I've seen a ton of people go into taking three or four days to create their whole look and feel of their blog. They launch it, they lose motivation, and they just wasted three or four of their days you know, designing a blog because they was more focused on that than focusing on content and promotion. So you never want to think too hard on you know design but other than that everything's ready to roll with the Photoshop blog so in the next video and training part part of the training you're gonna see me adding in the content adding in necessary banners and just everything that has to do with adding in content overall 